fun. Nurturing. Impactful. Exciting, actually. Joy. Caring. Thriving. When I first saw the school, and you drive up and you see this colorful, fun-looking place, you're like, oh, this is cool. This is where he should be. Yeah, yeah. that's it, that's it. That's it, that's it. I like that, it sounded good, it sounded good. Yeah. Autism affects one in 68 families in the United States uh, and translated that into Houston, that's a lot of families. And Avondale House is, is one of several organizations that um, is a resource for those families. What's important about Avondale House and the need that it's fulfilling is that we are not only a school, but a resource that provides education and training to individuals on the spectrum, particularly on the uh, lower end of the spectrum, more severe end of the spectrum, so that they can learn and grow in a safe and supportive environment uh, in order to develop to their fullest potential. Those first 10 years of his life, you're running around and you're trying to find every therapy, every school, every um, program you can for them, and it's exhausting. And I remember thinking, I never can look beyond a year for his future. Uh, in the school district, he was mostly a distraction. You end up with both, right? Either it's a distraction to the other kids that are trying to develop or trying to do what they need to do, or he's not getting what he needs because they do have to focus on the other kids. Avondale House works in partners with over 20 school districts in the greater Houston area. And while they provide many services to uh, students with special needs and in intellectual disabilities, Avondale House is able to provide that low teacher to student ratio to ensure that the student gets that one-on-one -on -one attention that they need in order to thrive. And that's been huge for him, um, to be able to have that focus on him and to help him redirect and work on behavioral activities and things like that has been very uh, important in his growth. We're not only a school, um, we provide residential services for individuals who want to live away from their families but need that support. Um, and we also provide services for adults who are no longer in school so that they have a, a, a safe environment to go to that provides them opportunities to volunteer in the community, to go on um, activities and to be productive during the day. We were so relieved that Avondale treats the whole individual. So from the day school to uh, young adult, they, ha they have program to um, the residential element. It just took that question mark away about his future. And as parents, I think that brings such a peace of mind. Mikey loves it. He is excited. Uh, to come. He, he's excited when he's waiting for his metro lift. Yeah, Paul likes to come to school every day. He grabs his backpack and uh, runs out the back door to the car and he's excited to be here. We say, Mikey, where did you go today? And he'll say, Whoa, for work. So uh, he likes getting to go to work like his daddy does. I work on social skills. I work on them being able to be in the public's eye mm -hmm. and have uh, the best behavior possible and that they also have learned job skills, whether that be collecting hangers at Goodwill or organizing the shelves in Walmart. The adult day program at Avondale House gives Mikey meaning. Uh, it gives him someplace purposeful to go every day. Let's separate him and see if you see any that's uh when I was a kid, the autistic kids were probably somewhere not to be seen, and uh, I think Avondale does a great job of saying these kids are uh, part of the fabric of our city and our society, and here they are. I love that Avondale House takes these kids into the community. They go to movies, horseback riding, rodeo, the mall. Um, it's so important that they break out of their bubble and that they adventure out, and that's a learning skill for them. You know, the, the disapproving looks and the 
disconcerting uh, society around us at times when we go out to eat or when we're in a, in a social setting. It used to bother me a lot more than it does today. Today I just pray for them and hope that at some time they get our world. And on the other hand, I hope they I hope they never have to. I don't think there's any other place in the city that looks at the individual through the span of a lifetime, which is fabulous. Avondale House's program takes away a lot of the trepidation and apprehension that parents feel when their child is becoming an adult. And uh, you start thinking about the future, what, what's going to happen when we're gone and, and what's our child going to do and, uh, once, the, once school is over. And we don't have to worry about that with Mikey being at Avondale. We know that they treat these kids uh, with dignity. They take the hardest cases. Um, they do it with grace and sometimes a little touch of humor. And uh, it's, a, it's a wonderful place. We, we would not have our family uh, together without Avondale House. My greatest frustration is fielding a lot of the calls and inquiries about fam from families wanting to place their, their sons or daughters with us. And at the moment, we're not able to accommodate them. It's gonna take resources to do that. It's so important that we have uh, such generous friends and colleagues and coworkers because it takes so much to run the school and there's such a need. You know, the need is not just children with autism, the need is young adults with autism and the need is adults with autism. When I talk to these families, I hear the desperation in their voice and they know that Avondale House is a place that they want their son or daughter to be. Um, so I want to be that place for them. To have a place like this in a community that truly gets our child is huge as a parent. As a father, you know, when you find out you're gonna have a child, you have, again, these expectations and, you know, he's gonna be the captain of the football team or whatever. And in the moment when you realize that's not gonna be the case, he's just gonna be whoever he ends up being. And you come to that realization, um, these kids, can and will teach you to live in the now and not worry about what happened in the past or what's possible in the future, but just be very thankful for every day.